Hey, social butterflies. Welcome to my YouTube channel, whoever it is. Um, hi, thank you for subscribing. I've got like a hundred something subscribers and I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever thanked you guys for subscribing. I should thank y'all. Thank you uh, for watching those who are regularly tuning in. I don't know who some of y'all are. It's a lot of y'all. And if y'all comment, then I'll know who it is. But if y'all don't comment, then I won't know who's watching my videos. But, um, I don't normally ask people to like do anything like comment or like or whatever, but I'm like curious to see who's watching. So, I mean, give it a comment if you want. Hey, um, this video, oh, this outfit, by the way, first off, ooh, ooh, my bad. Okay, so this outfit is from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box. I got the white shorts and the black top and say hi. This is my daughter, and she'll make appearances here and there in my videos, but she's not always in my videos. Um, can I can I continue, hon? <laughs> so this video is going to be about several issues going on within the Bratz doll collecting community, mainly with Facebook. Um, it's 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 like an issue, but it's an issue that's being recognized through Facebook. And um, if you guys aren't aware, there's a Facebook group called Brass Collectors. There's a identification group for people who wanna help uh, get help identifying dolls. There's um, other doll collecting groups outside of that. There's a official Bratz Collectors page as well that's separate and it's got several thousand people on those groups and uh, you're probably you might be one of them those members on there um <laughs> so there's some very opinionated conversations going on right now that is sparking a little bit of division in the doll community I can see and sparking some ignorant comments some harassing going on on both sides um, so people are just agitated, so they're just cussing people out in the comment section like I am so sorry like This is bad. This is really bad, and it's about black issues. Okay. It's about black issues Of course it would be you know because this is America and whoever else from whatever other country is on the group This is black issues because we can't run from it because it's just a problem and we can't act like it don't exist but some people just they respond differently to it because they're either ignorant or they're just aggravated and I'm aggravated too but I'm trying to have a healthy discussion like if we're gonna talk about it we got to learn how to have this conversation in a healthy way and not get an attitude every time somebody brings it up even if we do or don't agree like we got to be really mindful of it because I feel like eventually this group won't even be a group anymore like somebody might end up taking it down completely if we can't have a healthy discussion and be adults because a lot of us are adults on that group oh man so one of the issues is with Hayden Williams and it's not like I have a problem with it or anything like that I'm just saying he but basically what happened is he had people online who were harassing him and there were people who were sending him those posts because they would come up they, they would see the post and then they would forward it to him and he's in the facebook groups he got kicked off of one of the facebook groups because he spoke out about it and he's one of the current designers for Bratz and he's seeing people harassing him and these like hate campaigns he called it that people were expressing hate towards him either out of jealousy or just hatred whatever because they don't agree or like his designs or they don't want him to be a designer they don't they don't like him they might be racist I don't know they could just be a hater or they could be racist I don't even know like how would I know I don't know them but they're just coming at them and, and he's been dealing with that for a few years he would speak out about it and then a moderator took down one of his posts about it and I'm like well why would they do that he's a part of the official Bratz company like he's a he's a member basically he's a part of it why would you do that and and let him express himself as a man of color being a designer just let him you know so I guess somebody had a problem with him doing that or maybe they felt like it was too much of a discussion to be having on that group whatever they felt they didn't discuss it with him before they took it down they just did it and I'm just like really and then 
he made another post on the other Bratz collectors group, the one that is more accepting, the one that doesn't have as many arguments, but you know, and, and people responded pretty well. You know, people were like, I can't believe this is happening. Like, you know, you're cool, you're amazing, your designs are fantastic. And I, you know, replied as well. And he replied to me and replied to a lot of other people because he, you know, being so humble, he's interacting with everybody. And it's really cool to be able to interact with him because he was like a celebrity in my eyes with his million something followers. I'm thinking he's so busy that he don't got time to be socializing, making that money. But I feel like, you know, the best re revenge, I guess to say, is just keep making that paper and regardless of what people say that's like, that's what happens when you're a celebrity and when you're successful people talk about you and they'll say whatever they're gonna say they'll spread rumors and lies and just gotta keep it going but anyway a whole nother issue is coming up again and it came up many times before and it's with collecting you guessed dolls of color dolls like Sasha dolls like Felicia okay so for y'all who, who don't know of Felicia this is Felicia campfire from the campfire collection a rare collection from the early 2000s this is the 2001 re-release for from this year of the 2001 first edition Sasha if that makes sense it's the first edition this is the Felicia this is Sasha you see Felicia is dark skin she's got dark colored hair she's got highlights She's got this really cute outfit and she has a hat that comes with her and some other stuff. And then this is Sasha and you know, I did a review on her. I have, um, I have them, okay? And I've noticed that yes, as a collector, you notice certain dolls are higher priced because they're more sought after. They, some people consider them to be more rare even though they're not, they're just sought after and people tend to spend more money on them when they snag them. So what happens is sellers end up raising the price. But some of them are raising the price so high that it's almost impossible to get your hands on one for an affordable price that's fair compared to most other dolls. And I don't talk about black issues much because I, I mean, we hear it all the time. I hear it all the time and I listen and everything. And some people are better at breaking it down than I am. So I don't talk about this that much. But when it comes to rats and this is a hobby of mine, Oh, I'm well versed in this. Like I've, I've I've seen what's been going on. I've been I've been into brat since I was like four years old. So I've seen I've seen it all happening. Um, I started collecting like right after I left school. Like I mean, it's been about a year and a half since I've been collecting, and I saw how things changed even in that short time span because I looked at prices. When I was in high school, I saw the prices that those dolls were for back then, even though I wasn't shopping then because I didn't have money like that then, compared to now, yeah, the price has skyrocketed even in the last year. Um, a Felicia could have been 30, 40, 50 dollars, now she's going for a thousand on some listings and somebody spoke about that on their on the Facebook group. And then all of a sudden, people got really irritated that she was talking about it and some people just jumped to oh they must be racist but i really feel like it was just out of ignorance and that they were just kind of like really like just irritated just because they were ignorant and they didn't understand that it actually is an issue and they're like oh this is just a sought after doll there's other dolls that are expensive that are just like her but they're different skin colors it's not just a race thing it's just a doll that everybody likes and i'm like no not necessarily but some people got really nasty in the comment section some people got passive aggressive, like I said, on both sides. Like people were just getting at it like cats and you know, it happens. And I'm just like, why can't we just have this discussion? Why can't we just be like respectful about this? People, you know, girls, you know, some people just getting a little snappy and I'm just like, I, I want this group to stay a group. Like, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be in the group. I mean, it's your choice, your comfort level, how long you wanna be in the group. You don't have to be in the group. And you don't have to comment. You don't have to respond to every post that you see. Obviously, you can have you know self-control. You can listen, hear people out. You don't have to respond to everything. You know, I get that. It's hard to collect a brat stall for one that is complete with a full outfit because they're already high prices, even new in box dolls. It don't even matter what doll it is. That's true. But specifically for the black dolls, they're three times harder and I mean like three times harder because everybody wants them because Sasha was a little bit more rare than the other dolls and when I say that I mean some of the lines 
would have a complete line like princess there wasn't a sasha for the princess line it have been a brat's uh sasha felicia should have been more common they only did two collections of her so in certain scenarios she is more rare and people will you know want to pay more whether it's an auction or whatever but they what they've done is they've hyped it up you know wanting to pay that much so now sellers are just kind of more demanding as far as price is concerned some people agree with the pricing because they think it's cool that she's sought after they, they think it's cool that she's valuable because as a black woman that's like cool you know to say oh she's one of the most sought after dolls and she's like this price but at the end of the day for most black girls who are trying to collect her it is a bit frustrating because you don't want to spend that much like you, you feel like you shouldn't have to you know and I just recently saw somebody comment that, you know, if somebody who's white who has multiple Felicias that they should consider selling. And I'm just like, I don't know, like, I wonder how much they paid for it. I guess it's fair for them to sell it for how much they paid for it. They don't have to give it to us because they bought it, you know, they, they own it. I mean, it's a nice suggestion. It's a nice gesture. It would be generous of them if they have one to share if they have multiple, because it's like, do you really need that many? I get that point. But I don't know, you, you see what I mean, like how the discussion is going and it's just like, okay, because the Juneteenth holiday is coming around the corner, you know, the, the, the topics around being African-American, being black, the race thing, is, it's coming back. It, in this particular group, it, the conversation has never been off, like everywhere else, but as far as Brad's collector's group is, you know, it's starting to, you know stir up emotions and i'm just like everybody just calm down like it, they're dolls I, I get that but they're not just dolls i just think that we gotta tone it down just because they're dolls that we get so invested in it that we don't realize there are bigger issues going on that is not worth so much of the emotions and so much of the feeling to the point where we're literally like getting so rude in the comments that your comment could get flagged, your post could get flagged, get taken down completely, and then we can't even have the discussion safely because people are just cussing each other out, literally. Like, I think we need to just mi be mindful of that and just stay respectful about it. Like, we can have this discussion and be mature about it, and some people are just failing to do that. And um, sometimes I feel like maybe, maybe it would be cool if you could delete comments within your post on a Facebook group. I don't know if you can do that. Like. If you don't like the comment that was within your particular post, if you can delete it, that would be nice um, rather than deleting the whole thing together. But I think people just need to learn how to have these race discussions comfortably, like that you got to hear people out. Like they're frustrated, you know, they don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a Felicia. Like they have every right to be upset about that. Um, some people didn't understand some of the comments that I left. Like I had to clarify, like I can get misunderstood easily, but I'm just like, guys, like calm down, please. And this is one avenue that I like to take to be able to take my mind off of the issues that I deal with because too much of too much overindulgence of the things that stress you out it's not good it's just not good for you and sometimes you just gotta tone you gotta turn it off turn the screen off turn the news off like whatever like take a break take a breather because for me like personally I get I get kind of mentally like depressed almost when I'm constantly hearing about me being oppressed and I don't feel like I'm oppressed I'm sorry like I, I Lord the Lord is my God and, and he paves my path and I'm successful and you know like I, I'm, I'm just positive you know positive affirmation all the time like I'm not oppressed unless I like I'm being beat or or I'm getting kicked off of my job for an unfair reason or something like that like I'm not being oppressed like I'm I have, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm being provided for. I have people who help and support me and not oppressed in the way that some people might be, like someone else might be, but I'm not. So I get, I hate hearing it all the dang time, you know? But I understand that it's an issue and I don't want to sweep it under the rug. It's just not healthy. It don't matter who you are, like what race you are, like too much of anything is just not good. So I wouldn't be doing too much collecting to the point where I'm just obsessive and that's all I think about. Anything, too much of anything is not good. And I like to do things in moderation. So even if it comes to absorbing the content around racism, I cannot do it every day, all day. Like it's just something that it just turns my stomach and it, it just makes me want to cry. Like it's just too much. Sometimes it's just too much. And it's constantly being shoved down people's throats. And I'm like, I understand. 
this is an issue that's going on. But you got to protect your, your emotional health and your mental estate and only take in as much as you can handle. Sometimes you just got to turn things off. Sometimes you just got to leave groups if, it, if you feel like you need a breather. But as far as it goes for this, you know, doll thing, I think that people really should be mindful about how much they're charging. Me personally, I would put it on auction. For a Felicia doll, I would just put it on auction. And I understand it's still problematic because some people will go on there and they will bid and not pay just so that that person can't have the doll, whoever was winning the auction. I've seen that happen, but sometimes you're gonna have to be patient and just keep doing the auctions, you know what I'm saying? Or do like, uh, if you wanna be on the Facebook group or whatever and you let the person who's the highest bidder, maybe the highest bidder pay you. And I don't mean like, like bid on ebay or bid on um i mean like comment or or send you a direct message how much you want to pay if you want to sell it for the highest price that you can sell it whoever is willing to buy it at that highest price then i feel like that is to a certain degree more fair because you don't know how much that person is trying to go for so you tell them direct message me how much you want to pay for her because i'm trying to pay a bill and I gotta sell the doll, you know what I mean? Like I understand why some people might be selling their dolls. They might be, they might have paid a lot for it and want to sell it for the same amount that they already paid. I get that. But I'm also just urging, like, to be honest, I really hope that MGA just makes more Felicia's. If they're gonna continue to make brats, I think they need to make more Felicia's. Make her more common so that it, this this problem can just go away. Cause I'd rather everybody be able to have than everybody to be scrambling trying to get their hands on one because it's it's starting to cause more issues and I feel like if Bratz cares about our community like keeping things healthy I think they need to be like mindful of that and just start making more of her and more Sasha's and that way scalpers are not selling her for a thousand dollars um I appreciate that they released other doll lines that are racially diverse so it's not a problem um as much um but as far as the older dolls are concerned it's it's still like an issue it's like what people are stressed out about and sometimes i'm wondering like how long are we going to collect like what age do you think you're going to stop collecting brats because it's like you could technically collect till you die you just keep collecting or you might get sick of it like you know think about that too like how how much you want to invest in this do you want to branch out to other lines because there's only so many brats lines that they've had and there's only so many lines that I'm probably going to collect unless they make new ones. I don't like every single line that they've released. I don't like every Sasha and that's not my goal. My goal isn't to attain every single line, every doll. It, it's just not. Like I just want to be creative with it and collect the ones that I think are the best. That's me in particular. But I'm not trying to attain the most, you know, and several of the same thing. Like that's not really how I'm going with it. I'm just trying to make my collection diverse and special. With direct messaging and all of this, like, it's not really gonna change a seller's mind if you direct message them and tell them that it's overpriced. Like, I've actually done that once and it didn't change the opinion of that person. They, they, they put a Bratz car on there for like $100. MGA is going to re-release the Rock Angels car again and I think this time they're gonna put a doll with it and she's she and that car is gonna be like half that price so I'm just like okay guys but you know they're gonna re-release this collection in a few months right like two months why are you selling it for that much like it's not really worth it and then they're like well there's 10 people watching my post who are interested in buying it so I'm not gonna lower the price I'm like see it's really the behavior of the consumer that determines the work this is another hobby like anything else and there are people who are going to agree and disagree and fight and bicker and that's why i'm not involved in a bunch of groups here's another thing that likelihood to get scammed is it's, it's highly likely i was scammed a couple times i was scammed on a random website that i thought was selling brats and it wasn't it was just one of those algorithms that were kicking in through the Google search and it had a picture that was borrowed from somewhere else and then it had a price. I put my shipping information, all of that. And then the website kind of disappeared or something after that. And then I had to call my bank and tell them to reverse the transaction. I was also scammed by a black girl 
on Facebook Marketplace. She had a listing for a Rats Rock Angel Sasha brand new inbox and a brand new inbox GD Magic Yasmin. I was super excited. It was only $45 on the listing, but that's a whole $45 that I can't get back. And I reported her on Facebook. That was that was all I could do. She never shipped at all. There's no type of coverage through Facebook if you pay somebody through Messenger. They can't reimburse you because it goes straightly directly into their bank. That's how I paid her. I didn't pay her through PayPal. Um, that was my lesson learned. But yeah, just so you know, don't pay anybody through Messenger. Pay through PayPal. And if they don't send it back, PayPal will reimburse you. It's, it's that simple. They will reverse the transaction. They can do that. A whole month went by and I kept like trying to remind her and she kept making excuses about how she's in school and she's a single mom and she's taking care of her kid and she she used the money already for something else and she can't ship it and um she would say that she's gonna ship it and then never did and like that really irritated me and I kept reporting her until the post went down like because I was really irritated that her listing was still open after that happened and that was before I joined the Facebook group and once I did join, I I think I might have posted something about it. That was last year though. So yeah, it, it gets real, it gets real nasty out here in these Brad's Collectors groups. Cause I don't know if she was doing that to multiple people or what. Hey people, um, I just wanted to end the video right there so that it wasn't gonna get too long cause it, it's starting to get a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, but I appreciate you guys for listening. If you listened this far, heard me out um hopefully open your eyes to some things and um thank you i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you soon bye